Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner and to another Creative Wednesday video. And since you've been hearing me rambling on about flamingos lately, I thought I'd do a flamingo original spread. Uh, this is actually my flamingo book, but it's not really finished enough to show you yet. So I'm just gonna make this page and soon I'll show you what I'm up to with all that flamingo stuff. <laughs> it's just that I like flamingos and suddenly I see them everywhere. So in the meantime, I'm just putting this in here. Um, I want to color in this flamingo and it's from the Octopod factory. And it was like this, it's a ditchy stamp. And I just um, flipped it the other way <laughs> and made it a bit larger. So this is gonna be my flamingo. And I want to do a layering page. I've been participating in the Art Journal Summer School and uh, we had a lesson with Robin Marie Smith and it was just all about layering. Uh, layers <laughs> on your art journal page. So I just thought I'd do that. Uh, so I'm starting off with some watercolor and uh, because I'm going to use a flamingo I want it to be bright colors. So I've got this. Uh, where shall I put it that you can see it? Well it's over here and I've got I think I have a water brush somewhere. I had a water brush. Oh here it is. I've got this water brush and these are so uh, great to use when you're on holiday or when you just don't want a little bowl of water over there <laughs> that you can spill. So there's water in here and I'll just um, wet the paint oh, like this. And what I'm going to do is just put some paint on the paper. So uh, just some colors, lots of pink of course, flamingos, you know. And this is really fun to do because it's very easy. And I just have to squeeze a little bit so that the water comes out. And some more pink over here. <laughs> so now I want to take another color. I'll just brush it off on a piece of kitchen roll and I'll just take some orange. I love this guys. Just randomly putting color on the paper. Okay, so while this is drying, um I've got a piece of uh, wax paper, baking paper, that I use just, just like I use these sheets to protect my art journal. And there's all kinds of smudges of paint on there and that's just really nice because I can use this as a background. So I've got really pink uh, memento ink and I've got this cute stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I really like this flamingo uh, text. So I'm gonna take it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to take it out. There it goes. And I'm just randomly gonna stamp it on this piece of paper. Paper. So while this is drying, <laughs> I'll just go back to my so what do I want to do now? Now I just want to put some scraps of paper on here to give it a bit more um, texture. And I've got these. These are little pineapples because I also really like pineapples now. <laughs> so uh, I've got this set and I got this for, for free with a magazine I bought in the UK and I thought this would be nice to use so I just uh, used my die cutting machine and Cut some of these out. So I'm just gonna tape them on the page. For that I need glue. So I'm just gonna glue them down randomly. One over here. And now everything is sticky. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I'm so messy guys and only when the camera's on but you know that by now. 
glue everywhere. So, more glue. And I'll just put one over here. And one over here. And then you've got this part. So now I've got glue everywhere. Yay! And, well, some scraps of paper. So I got all these bright colors. I really love this one. And I've used this before in one of my original spreads. It's, this is um, washi tape, actually. Washi paper. So that's really nice because it just stays on. You just stick it on. And just a little bit over here because there's still some glue over there. I'm just going to put some of this on top of it. Okay, that's better. So, I'll just put a bit over here. And this is just layering, guys. It doesn't matter where you, where you put it. So what else shall I do? I'll just take my uh, very much used <laughs> stencil and I can just stencil a bit around the corner. So I'll just be needing this paper again. I'm going to start at this page. And I've got some nice colors. I've got pink and turquoise and golden straw. I thought those would be nice. Um, well, let's just go over it with some of this. So I'll just put it on the paper. Oops. And just use my fingers. Really messy. <laughs> Let's just see what it looks like. That's a mess, but that's what I was going for. Well, maybe a bit less of a mess, but still, <laughs> it's okay. So I'm going to put a bit over here. Just gonna use that. And then maybe some. Uh, poof, I don't know, some pink. Smack in the middle. Uh, I'll just have to get a bit of the blue off. On the other hand, let's just leave it on. over here hmm. well not bad so uh, I'm just gonna leave this to dry again okay so now we're getting somewhere so now I just want to blend it all a bit so I'm just gonna put some white on here and just Uh, maybe it's a bit too much. Maybe I should put it somewhere else uh, on a piece of my flamingo stuff. So, like that. <laughs> so, this looks better. So, this is just, you know, just go by feeling. <laughs> um, just put some white over it so it, it blends a bit more. See the difference? So uh, I'm just doing something and that's what I really love to do, just just go with it, see where it ends. I think that's enough actually, even though I still have some more white left. And for the final touch, le voilà. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna clean my hands. Okay, so I'll have to let it dry again, but while this dries, I'm going to color in the flamingo. So I've been trying out some colors over here, 
and I'm going for the very very bright uh, what is it called? Cherries. So it's gonna be a very bright flamingo. And I'm just gonna color it in. Whoa, that's really bright. <laughs> flamingo is done so now I just have to cut it out so here's my flamingo <laughs> I really love these stamps. This is from the Octopode Factory and I'll uh, hope to remember to leave a link below because these are awesome. Okay, what shall I do next? I've got these still with my flamingo on it. So I'm gonna put some of this on here, maybe over there. And some flamingo, flamingo over here. So for this, <laughs> I'm gonna take a piece of paper because I learned from the last time I tried to put it on. Just get some glue and stick it on. Ah, oh, it's upside down. I like to see the word flamingo. Now I see that the color is almost the same. I love this stuff because uh, it just blends into the background because you can see the background through the wax paper. I think I might use that more as a background, you know, to put some paint you've got left over on because it's really nice to use later on. Now I think it needs a bit more, a bit black. I'm going to start by doing my favorite border, as you all might know by now. just gives it a finishing touch and I know all the pages have this by now but I just love it so why shouldn't I do it that's what an art journal is all about just do what you want and if I want to put one of these on every page okay it might get a bit boring but I like it on this page So when you frame it, it becomes art. <laughs> okay. That looks better. So I'm going to put my flamingo over here. But first I want some black paint in here, I think. Um, let me just think. I've got haha, these masks. And I've got these little stamps, circles. A little circle and a large circle. So little piece of paper, a bit of black acrylic paint and then you just smear it out a bit Ta-da! these are by the way children's stamps <laughs> I bought them on a flea market once and they are so awesome And I love to do this just randomly. And now for the smaller one. Oh, that's really small. There's nothing in between. I'll let you see a basket. Oh, there's no. Oh, wait. 
nothing in between. But don't fear, I have something else. I think. I also have some of these. You know, just little uh, caps of bottles and stuff. So I think I'm gonna use this one. Let's see if the paint isn't dry already. And now I want a smaller one. Oh, this one is nice too. This is, uh, I have no idea what to call it. You use it when you want to put wires uh, together. I don't even know what it's called in Dutch, but uh, you can also use a Lego brick. And I actually also need a sentiment, but I don't know what yet. I think I'll use my finger to make some back dots. So let's do that again over here. And maybe two over here. Hmm. Okay, so it's time to glue on the flamingo. But I'm really tempted to turn off the camera because, uh, you know, things tend to go wrong. <laughs> When I've got the camera on, and this is really delicate stuff. Ah. <laughs> don't tear, don't tear. Oh my goodness, why am I even trying this? Let's hope this works. <laughs> Creepy. Okay. So, the flamingo goes over here. Not enough glue on there, of course there's not. <sighs> you know what, I've got special glue. I've got this stamping up stuff that's really, really sticky. So let's hope that that does the trick. Now stay on. Ta-da! So, the flamingo is on the page. So now I want to put some uh, a sentiment over here and I thought of something and it's really awful but I really love it. <laughs> I'm gonna write down, and here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> Let's. Oh, that sounds lovely. Let's. <laughs> Let's flamingo. Well, isn't that just the best thing you ever saw? <laughs> okay, I think it's funny. So, um, it needs a little black border. So I'm gonna go around it again. Let's flamingo! So I want to put the word travel somewhere and I knew I had stickers but I can't find them. So I've got my label maker. If I still know how it works. I hope so. Um, so T R A V Travel. It's working. Wow, that's amazing. So the Let's Flamingo uh, makes a bit more sense if I just put a 
<laughs> where shall I put it? Over here. Travel. Okay, I'll make another one with add venture. <laughs> oh, no. I should have uh, deleted the travel. Now I've got travel adventure. Well, that's nice. See, always on camera. But, oh well. It's an adventure. Oh. <laughs> so, adventure. Okay. Um, this one is floating a bit, so I need to put some shadows around it. My water soluble ink tense pencil. So I might just give it a bit more shadow over here and a bit over here. Look, it's letting it loose already. <laughs> no. I didn't even say that it worked. I didn't jinx it, but still. This is just great stuff. Okay, some shadow over here. And now with the water brush that I had somewhere, I'm just gonna activate it just a little. For a bit shading. And I'm not really good at shading, so I'm just doing something and, well, looks nice. Nice enough. Uh, said the flamingo. Now I'm just gonna doodle a bit on it, just to, f to fill the empty spaces. So I need a smaller one. This is 0.5, this is 0.3. But what do I doodle? I don't know. Just do something. I don't want to doodle too much because I think it looks very nice like this but this is a bit empty so I'm gonna put a wave over here guys I think it's finished I can put more layers on but I kind of like it the way it is that's flamingo <laughs> travel and adventure so this is uh, my layered flamingo page and I can show you the front of the book. Looks like that. And soon I'll make a video about what else is in here. And trust me, this is the most um, creative part in here. It's mostly stickers and stuff. But you'll see. Um, well, I hope you'll see lots of flamingos in the coming days. Everywhere you go in the stores, you will see flamingos. I've been saying it and it's going to happen to you because of this one. Um, so let's flamingo and find some flamingos. <laughs> okay guys i hope you like this video hope you like the page and hope you just start layering yourself you see it's just putting stuff on paper just some uh, acrylic paint some water paint some scraps of paper and just layer it and le voila i really like it so i'm gonna do this more often and i hope you like this video if you did then please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos then please subscribe and guys i'm at 500 subscribers yay so thank you all so very much for subscribing and for watching my videos and uh, just let me know where do you flamingo this year <laughs> sorry okay well groetjes from holland bye